hi, hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. This is an impromptu video. We're doing it in here. Hopefully we don't have too much background noise or disturbance, but I had to get this out. I was up late last night going through Twitter and TikToks, um, reading about this. Obviously you see the thumbnail. This is about Don't Worry Darling and the mess that's surrounding this film that I have been eating up. I know a lot of you have been to on Twitter, but it seems very messy. So I'm going to try to streamline and give a general synopsis of the information. Now there's probably lots of other bits and pieces, also rumors I want to say say the majority of this is alleged allegedly okay but i want to tell you what's been going on what the rumor mill is saying and you know the key players and all of that so buckle up i've got my water my coffee Whew, i'm ready let me stretch okay don't Worry Darling comes out later this month, I think like the 23rd or something of September. This movie is directed by Olivia Wilde. She's also in the film. This is not her directorial debut. That was Booksmart, but I think this is like her first big production. Ow. So in the film, along with Olivia Wilde, we have Florence Pugh, Harry Styles, Gemma Chan, Nick Kroll, Kiki Lane, and Chris Pine. And so it just premiered at film, Venice Film Festival and that's where we're getting a lot uh, more of this tea. And uh, so we got to go back. Like I said, the major, okay, so the major players in this story are Olivia Wilde, Florence Pugh, Harry Styles, we also have Shia LaBeouf comes in here and then you will see some other people who've just been caught in the fray. But so go back to the end of 2020, I think was when this film wrapped and you see Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles are pictured together in the wild. Now she had just broken up with Jason Sudeikis, who she was with for like eight or nine years. He was her fiance, baby daddy to her two children. And it is rumored, it is alleged that there may have been time that overlap that she was still with Jason, but on set, you know, maybe she had started getting a little too friendly with Harry, but that's alleged. We don't know. Um, so she had broken up with him. It looked like she was starting to date Harry Styles. And so Harry was posting about the movie and Olivia was posting about the movie. At the beginning, it seemed like Florence was posting about the movie and then she kind of went quiet and people were like, huh, that's weird because she, you know, she's starring in this film. Why isn't she promoting the movie more? So another theory is that maybe she wasn't posting about the movie because she wasn't happy that Harry Styles was in the movie because it appeared that Olivia was dating Harry Styles while she was still with Jason Sudeikis because Florence Pugh was dating Zach Braff. They were together for like three years and Zach Braff is friends with Jason Sudeikis. So maybe she was like, I know you ain't doing my man's friend wrong like this, but we don't know if that's alleged, but that's just a theory. Also, apparently Florence is only getting paid $700,000 for this film and Harry Styles is being paid 2.5 million when clearly she is actually an actor and he's him. Um, and so that also is alleged, but if that's true, that's fucked up. Even though I mean, that's a lot of fucking money, but you know, she should be the one making more money than him and his self. Then also, also, so obviously Olivia is directing this film. Harry was not supposed to be in it originally. We will get to that. And I don't think he's really been in anything else, maybe like a small cameo here or there. And so it is alleged that during the film, she was too focused on Harry. Now, I don't know if that means focus, like trying to help him, like focus on him as a director, just giving him like help and stuff. Or if it was focused on like, you know, hey boo, cause she's got a new bae and she's obsessed or it is both. But they're saying that she was too focused on Harry and so Florence kind of had to step up and also direct the film. And so she's salty about that, allegedly. So now we're caught up, right? So now I think last week we had Olivia did an interview with Variety, Variety Magazine, Vanity Fair. And she talked about how Shia LaBeouf was originally cast in this movie and that she fired him because she has a policy of no assholes on set. And you know, he has a history. If you don't know, Google it. He has a history. So she fired him because you know, he's an asshole and he wasn't working well with everyone else. And so he had to go, then he was replaced with Harry Styles. But Shia LaBeouf said, hold on sis, that's not the truth. Uh-uh, you didn't fire me girl, I quit. 
And so he penned this letter, sent it to uh, the press, also sent them a video that Olivia sent to him. So I'm going to read you the letter and then I'll show you the video and then we'll continue. Olivia, I hope this finds you inspired, purposeful, fulfilled, and well. I pray every night that you and your family have health, happiness, and everything God would give me. No joke, every night before I sleep. I have a little girl, Isabel. She's five months old and just beginning to develop the last half of her laugh. It's amazing, Mia, my wife, and I have found each other again and are journeying toward a healthy family with love and mutual respect. I have embarked on a journey that feels redemptive and righteous, dirty word befitting. I write to you now with 620 days of sobriety and a moral compass that never existed before my great humbling that was the last year and a quarter of my life. I reached out to you a few months ago to make amends and I still pray one day you can find space in your heart to forgive me for the failed collaboration we shared. What inspired this email today is your latest variety story. I am greatly honored by your words and my work. Thank you. That felt good to read. I'm a little confused about the narrative that I was fired, however. You and I both know the reasons for my exit. I quit your film because your actors and I couldn't find time to rehearse. I have included as a reminder the screenshots of our text exchange on that day and my text to Toby. I know that you are beginning your press run for Don't Worry Darling and that the news of my firing is attractive clickbait as I am still persona non grata and may remain as such for the rest of my life. But speaking of my daughter, I often think about the news articles she will read when she is literate. And though I owe and will owe for the rest of my life, I only owe for my actions. My failings with twigs are fundamental and real, but they are not the narrative that has been presented. There is a time and a place to deal with such things and I am trying to navigate a nuanced situation with respect for her and the truth, hence my silence. But this situation with your film and my firing will never have a court date with which to deal with the facts. If lies are repeated enough in the public, they become truth. And so it makes it that much harder for me to crawl out of the hole I have dug with my behaviors to be able to pro provide for my family. Fire me never took place, Olivia. And while I fully understand the attractiveness of pushing that story because of the current social landscape, the social currency that brings, it is not the truth. So I am humbly asking as a person with an eye towards making things right, that you correct the narrative as best you can. I hope none of this negatively affects you and that your film is successful in all the ways you want it to be. Every blessing to you, Shia. never took place Olivia like I am dying like this is <laughs> he said I'm a little confused about the narrative that I was fired however you and I both know the reasons for my exit like <laughs> Shia LaBeouf is still an asshole by the way but I'm just living this is so hilarious but yeah he's saying I quit because there was not enough rehearsal time not because you fire or you know I didn't leave because you fired me so I forgot to add this in and I believe this was Olivia's reply to Shia. She emailed him and said, I'm sorry, Shia. I don't know if there's a point in listing all the misunderstandings here. Bottom line is that I'm bummed. I'm bummed you dropped out of my movie. I'm bummed you assumed I was trying to inflate your idea for this video when all I've wanted to do was honor it and help lift it up. That last rehearsal was tough because it did not feel heard, only judged. Despite all this, I would love to move forward and make something beautiful with you guys. I respect you deeply. I like you very much. I want you to trust me and I want to trust you. I want to do this. We need to regain that trust. I'm very much here for it. I want to make this authentic and honest. I have no interest in sabotaging its intent. I'm here for you guys as a hand to help shape this with mutual respect and no more drama, if you'd like. If not, I'll respectfully bow out, but I very much hope that's not where this lands. Warmly, O. Or, or he also shared this video. Shia, Shia, Shia. I just went riding my horse, very sweaty, but I wanted to reach out because I feel like I'm not ready to give up on this yet. And I too am heartbroken and I want to figure this out. And you know, I think this might be a bit of a wake up call for Miss Flo. And I wanna know if you're open to giving this a shot with me, with us, if she really commits, if she really puts her, her mind and heart into it at this point. And if you guys can make peace, and I respect your point of view, I respect hers, but if you guys can do it, what do you think? 
Is there hope? Is there hope? Will you let me know? So note the misflow. That part is very important, but that's just shady. So not only did she not fire him, she was begging him to come back and saying like, oh, I hope Flo, Miss Flo can get it together. Bitch, what? Flo always got it together, honey. I don't know what you, I don't know what you playing at, but it's not, it's not cute. Okay. So it's like basically assumed or people are seeing for that video like, okay, were they not getting along? Why weren't they getting along? And it's like, maybe because he's an asshole <laughs> or maybe with the recent lawsuit from FKA Twig. So I won't go into the whole thing. Like I said, Shia LaBeouf has a history of mess and you could Google it, but I will share this part. There's going to be mentions of sexual and verbal, emotional abuse, assault. So FKA Twigs, who dated Shia LaBeouf, has recently uh, filed a lawsuit for their about their abusive relationship. And so I made some notes. I'm just going to read it directly. Um, so she is suing Shia LaBeouf, um, citing sexual battery, assault, and emotional distress. And uh, so some quotes from the article, I'll link that down below, that while he was filming Transformers, like he would be raging at her, um, that he woke her up in the middle of the night choking her. Um, they were getting into it one time in the car. She was trying to leave that he slammed her against the car and uh, they were arguing. He forced her back into the car, even though she wanted to leave. She also mentions that he kept a loaded firearm by the bed and she was too scared to get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom because she didn't want him to mistake her as an intruder and shoot her. He didn't let her wear clothing to bed like it's bad. So, you know, content, lots of possibly triggering things in the article. But if you want to read more on what she talks about in their relationship, go ahead. So maybe Florence didn't want to work with him because of that and all of his other actions. Um, but yeah, Olivia didn't fire him. He quit. And so obviously Harry Styles was uh, recast in his place. Okay, so now we're in Venice. Movie is premiering and Florence is like, um, I'm busy. I cannot make it. Like she said no press, but that she would show it for the red carpet and like the actual viewing of the film. Um, her people are like, she's so busy filming Vil Dune 2 in Budapest, I believe. And, but then you see, you see photos of Florence in Venice eating the girls out, honey, eating, serving. And as a non-straight myself, I, I was feasting. I was like, God damn it, Florence. Mm, work. But also maybe, maybe she is busy or maybe she didn't want to be with this raggedy trifling ass cast. Who knows? And uh, so also note the Miss Flo that Olivia used in that video. Florence's stylist posted pictures of her on Instagram and the caption said Miss Flo. And then Olivia's stylist posted an Instagram story that said there's always more to the story. What is happening? I need to know. Okay, I have to delete things on my memory card. So I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Where was I? Let me get my notes. Okay, we were talking about Florence eating it, serving the girlies and we were eating it up because she looks fabulous. All right. Oh, and I was talking about the stylist. So Florence stylist posted pictures of her and she captain, captioned it Miss Flo and then Olivia stylist posted a story that said there's always more to the story. Lord have mercy. Now, a lot of people are like, what does Chris Pine have to do with this? Sweet Chris Pine. Also Gemma Chan. So Chris Pine, a wonderful Chris. I think I would put him as the second Chris. Obviously Chris Evans, Christopher Jamal Evans is number one, but Chris Pine is a lovely Chris. I've always loved Chris Pine. He has a, uh, his eyes, mm, so endearing. Also this look, the looks he is serving, I'm eating it up. I love the hair. I love the loafers, the ankle, great. So Chris Pine is caught in the crosshairs. So is Gemma Chan, but Chris looks like he's really suffering and struggling. So he um, he is purely innocent. His lovely hair, his flip phone, his books that are likely purchased from an indie bookstore had nothing to do with this mess. He is just unfortunately a part of this cast and has to deal with his messy ass cast members. So he <laughs> there are pictures of him on the red carpet with a disposable camera taking pictures of Florence and I just want to be their friend. I want to go to dinner like, oh my God, living living and then <laughs> this poor man this real actor okay this man who has been in the game for a while has to sit 
through press with Harry Styles. And I will show you this clip, but people posted it on Twitter because they're like, oh my God, is Chris disassociating in like real time as we're watching? Because Harry Styles is being asked, you know, about the movie and he's like, he's saying that he was like, oh my God, is this movie really just felt like a movie. You know, my favorite thing about the movie is like, it feels like a, like a movie. It feels like a real, like, you know, go to the theater film movie that you know you, you kind of the reason why you go to watch something on the big screen and chris looks like he's like you know what i have to mentally depart or i'm gonna fucking lose it and i understand if i had to sit by that as a seasoned actor i would be like oh fuck no so he just looks like he's like off in space then we go to the film like the actual viewing the seating arrangement is hilarious again chris pine and jimba chan just caught in the middle of the mess because you have like, olivia wilde over here and then chris pine harry styles Gemma, and then florence Pugh. so obviously so harry and olivia aren't even sitting together like are they still together obviously olivia's over here florence is over here messy and then honey it appears as if harry styles spit on chris pine I've watched this clip at least 50 times. We're gonna play it here. It looks like, so Chris Pine is already there, Harry comes in, it looks like he spits on him and then sits down. Cause you see Chris Pine clapping and then he stops and he's kind of like, what the fuck? This bum ass bitch just do, but then he kept it together. You have to pay attention. It looks like right there he spits and you see Chris pauses. Like, <laughs> I know he didn't. And he's like, you know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. What? Like, what the Reese's peanut butter fuck is going on here? How? I want to say no, it just looks like that because who in their right mind would do that in public with all these cameras at a movie premiere to Chris Pine? Are you cr This can't be real. What do you think? You have to tell me your thoughts. I just like keep rewatching it and it looks like he did. I, I will keep you posted because I mean, he's a classy man, but hands deserve to be thrown over that. That's disrespectful. Uh, at the end, it looks like Florence is really like, <laughs> I'm ready to go. Um, and of course, anytime Olivia has been asked about the movie and asked about Florence, she has nothing but positive things to say. So it's like, is all this just rumors? People are like trying to pit women against women, but I don't know. I don't know. Another thing was, and someone posted this on Twitter, as they're about to, like, they're turning the lights down to watch the film, it looks like Chris Pine put, well, it doesn't look like, he puts on sunglasses, somebody's like, child, he about to take a nap. I think Chris is tired. He seems exhausted. He just wanted to show up, snap a few photos of friends, and leave, and this man possibly got spit on, and has a messy ass director, and co-star, and who knows what else. So. That is the gist of it. That is where we are. Bring us up to present day. I'm recording this as Tuesday, September 8th. So this movie still doesn't come out for like two weeks. So who knows what else is going to be going on. Blah. Who knows what else is going to happen. If there's more, I can make a part two. But I've seen a lot of people on Twitter who've been like, this is the start of like Shia, Le, Shia LaBeouf trying to go on like a redemption tour or a redemption arc. I mean, he does say that in his letter and that um, this is just pitting women against each other and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, it could all be true. Shia LaBeouf is a piece of shit because um, he was getting into trouble and being outlandish and ridiculous. And then I believe all the shit that happened with FKA Twigs. And um, so yeah, he's a piece of shit. And I believe that he obviously is trying to redeem himself but it can also be true that he did leave the film because he didn't have enough rehearsal time and that he wasn't fired and it's like okay well why did she hire him anyway if she no assholes on set and she already knew his history 
like even before the fka twig stuff he was already just an outlandish person so like why did she hire him anyway so it can be both true that he is trying to start redeeming himself and make himself look better in the public and that she also lied <laughs> And that video is very messy of her begging him to come back and saying, hopefully Miss Flo can get it together. Very shady. And so, sure, you can say that this is, oh, this is a whole sexist, is a misogynist ploy or whatever. I'm like, no. I think it all can be true. We don't know a lot of things. Obviously, a lot of this is alleged. We don't know if she che cheated on Jason Sudeikis. Um, we don't know if Florence was paid less. We don't have all of those facts. But it's possible. A lot of these things could be true. You only one thing, it's not like they have to be mutually exclusive, like only one thing could happen and then the rest are false. So just saying, that's what's, that's the latest, that's the wrap up with Don't Worry Darling, but it sounds like somebody should be worried. I'm watching this movie, honey. I'm watching this movie. I got to see it now. Did I care before the mess? No, I actually don't go, I don't make it a point to see a lot of movies. I just don't, but I'm seeing this movie, honey. I'm watching it. Maybe I'll review it for you here on the channel, but that is the mess. The mess really is Olivia Wilde, Shia LaBeouf, Harry Styles, honestly. Harry Styles, like, please. I'm so sick of seeing this man everywhere. So sick of, I'm just sick of him. So, kick rocks. So I hope that cleared it up. If you have anything else to add, any alleged takes, any rumors you've heard, feel free to add it down below. And uh, I hope this helped you make some kind of sense of what's been going on. Also, are you gonna watch the movie? And didn't Florence look fabulous? Mm. Yes, girl. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Um, give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. This was so fun to take a break from book-related content and also book-related drama because there's so fucking much and I was just exhausted. And like this before I knew of the book tonet, celebrity mess was my go-to. I was the point of contact for my friends if they wanted to know what was happening in the celebrity world. So I feel like I'm returning to my roots and it feels good. So E! News, anybody out there? Hello? Hello? I'm available. My email's down below. I'm available for freelance work, contractor work, whatever. I'm here. I'm ready. I need to be able to get to the red carpet so that I can interview Christopher Jamal Evans and then he can fall in love with me. So somebody help me get that started. Thank you. Anyway, stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.